Excellent. How are you, comrades? It's your boy, Kasky. And today, we have a treat. PragerU recently uh, uploaded this really bad fucking video called Social Justice Isn't Justice. And since I am now, check this out, since I am now a 14 Andy, I figured I should respond to it. Um, oh, there we go. Here we go. So the Lord is let's a God get into it. Social justice. That's the message in many, maybe most churches and synagogues in okay. America and the West today. But here's the problem. The Bible doesn't actually say that. It says in Isaiah, the Lord is a God of justice. The you'll find a lot of references to justice in the Bible, but you'll never find it preceded by the word. It also social. defends but slavery in the Old thinking, Testament. What's the difference? I Isn't God the God of justice? and social justice well not if he's consistent you see god cannot be the god of justice and social justice because social justice is not just justice is getting what you deserve without favor social justice is getting what you don't deserve because yeah. you are favored great so the con the, the typical conservative not. argument justice social justice is see, not sorry see so justice apparently according to conservatives is always blind and it's all about what you deserve right but of course that's not the case or if it was the case at least she would be against the state of affairs and the world as it is today right but of course she's not she's a conservative and she works for the blaze um so social justice what is it social justice isn't getting what you don't deserve because you are favored um if that were the case the world as it stands now would be a social justice world there are fuck tons of rich people that get like undue amounts of favor from the government for example because they're favored because they make the government money the justice system for example also gets favored by the government because they back candidates with fuck tons of money so that the the candidates will continue to police certain areas so that they can put black people in prison okay this is really fucking dumb justice is blind social justice is not let's hmm. say a man robs a store justice demands but one thing that he be tried in a court of justice and if he is found guilty punished Ye that is not how social justice works okay Justice. By the way, here's something really funny. All right, I'm going to have to cover something up so that you don't see my fucking porn. Okay. Um, there are crime stats. If that were the case, if our, if our justice system were as streamlined as that, we wouldn't have so many fucking people sitting in prison, or sitting in jail, rather, without being convicted. Unvicted people are in jail. Sorry, but let's see. Let's see what we get. Um, this one. I actually looked at this earlier. I cheated. <sighs> Check this out. Check this out. How many people are locked up in the United States? The U.S. locks up more people per capita than any other nation, at the staggering rate of 698 per 100,000 residents. But to end mass incarceration, we must first consider where and why 2.3 million people are confined nationwide. There are 470,000 people sitting in local jails that are not convicted of any crime. They just, they're just sitting in jail because they can't afford bail. So the system obviously doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Um, and yet PragerU will say, hey, well, it's it's just. It's the it's it's justice. You have to understand. And imagine also, it's really fucking incredible incredible to me that she brings up something like a robbery and says, Huh, well, social justice isn't concerned about actually like um doing anything. Just just look. Uh, a, a man could rob a store. And then he would um, not, he, he would go to jail in, in justice. But here, obviously, if you just look, fuck tons of people are in jail, whether it be in federal prisons and jails or in local jails, both unconvicted and convicted who have just committed drug crimes, whether or not they are violent. Fuck tons of people over here, too, uh, driving under the influences. That's pretty fucking bad. I, 
I don't encourage that at all. If you drive under the influence, you probably should go to jail. But drug possession, 45,000 other drugs, that could be fucking literally anything, like a nonviolent crime. So you have tons of people in there that probably shouldn't be in jail anyway. Um, all this shit, I mean, violent crime, yeah, it's pretty bad. You should probably, like, go to jail. But um, that's not what they think people that support social justice think. You see, here they're going to say some really dumb shit right now. Person is guilty. It asks about his economic condition. Hmm. Is he poor or wealthy? Yeah. About his upbringing. What kind of childhood did he mm -hmm. have? About his race or ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Is he a member of a group that has been historically oppressed? Yeah. Justice Possibly. Justice demands that everyone be equal under the law. Social justice demands that everyone be equal. Period. <sighs> economically socially and in every other pop yeah yeah prager you because if you want to judge people fairly and properly people should probably be economically or you know and racially whatever equal before you judge them as harshly as you should other people that's that's a, a very consistent line of argument that you should make okay possible way justice asks who did it Social justice asks, why did he <laughs> Imagine being so fucking bad at proving your point that in doing so you make the other argument, the opponent argument, um, look really fucking good, introspective, intelligent, and your own argument um, really fucking dumb based on finger pointing and just based on like the need to get your rocks off on punishing another human being so who did it right yeah we want to know obviously who did it who committed a crime so that we can ask why did they do it right so why did they do it hmm maybe they belong to a disenfranchised community that might cause them to be more likely to make to commit crime well if that's the case Hmm, what can we do to prevent these things in the future? You see, they Prager you thinks that like under social justice, if like a black dude commits a crime, we would just like um let let him go or something instead of address problems in the community to reduce crime and other things like that. You know, they they don't have very many brain cells to rub together. But anyway, here we go. Lost in all these social justice considerations is the individual's own responsibility for what he did. That's why social justice Holy shit. advocates have abandoned the term justice. Holy they shit. It's it, justice is in the name. Justice alone as unfair. And sometimes it is. Imagine 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 working for Prager U. Imagine being the editor for Prager U and thinking that this is a good look for a point that you're trying to make. A man who was beaten um, by his the, father the, and abandoned by his <laughs> This one's gonna be fucked. Alright, so, uh, imagine, um, yeah, you're trying to make an argument and in doing so, like, three consecutive lines of your dialogue that you're having with your audience are like, huh, yeah, well, uh, the, the opponents bring up some really good points. Um, I don't have anything to say about that, but other than, uh, yeah, maybe they're right. God fucking damn it. Mother is more likely to commit a violent <laughs> crime than a man raised in a loving home. But those facts can't okay. and should not determine his innocence or guilt. Yeah, Why? they shouldn't determine because the person's innocence or guilt because that person... Shut up. I'm trying to pause the video. They shouldn't determine someone's innocent or innocence or guilt because that person still committed the action. You know, they still may have hurt someone, but quite likely if they belong to a disenfranchised community, maybe it was just a violent drug crime. Or maybe a non-violent drug crime, actually, is what I mean. But here's the thing. If you belong to that community, we can, like, look at statistics and data and, like, try to do things to prevent crimes in the future. But you see, PragerU doesn't want to do that because it's just a, a fuck ton easier to just raise your hands and say, Oh, well, um, actually in the Bible it says, uh, it's really fucking dumb. Truth. Is the person guilty or innocent of the crime? None of us is omniscient. We don't know why people do what they do. After all, the vast majority of people raised in abusive homes Holy do not shit. commit violent yeah, crimes. Yeah, the vast majority of people raised in 
raised in abusive homes or belonging to, you know, whatever, like if they're black or something or, you know, which also tends to have quite a higher rate of abusive homes because people are fucking poor and that makes it more likely that they are, you know, committing abuse to whoever. <clears throat> you know, the thing is, though, we can, like, look at data and see that people in those environments, while the vast majority do not commit violent crimes, and more on that in a second, they may be more likely to commit crime in general. You know, of those people that commit crime, more of them might be people raised in abusive homes, rather than taking this as the the main value and saying, oh, well, the vast majority of them don't, so uh, um, I guess that, it, I guess the whole thing just means nothing. Huh. That was my Ben Shapiro voice. I, I don't know. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, we saw before a fuck ton of people over here committing drug crimes, you know, that are non-violent, non, -violent, non po well, potentially non-violent. I mean, it says drug here and violent over here, and I would think maybe if it was a violent drug crime, it would probably be violent. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure how this works and the statistic and how it's broken down, but, but, you see, they have to add violent in there to obfuscate whether or not this, I could be fucking wrong here. I don't even know. Um, but I'm just saying they have to add this in to, you know, one, attach it to the previous example of a dude doing a fucking burglary rather than like how fuck tons of people are arrested anyway in the United States. Um, and saying like, well, uh, you see, if we just look at it this way, uh, Mm, yeah, uh, the left is wrong when it, this, it, it just fucking means nothing. Nor do the vast majority we shouldn't, like, we shouldn't, are... we shouldn't restrict what we view, like, just and unjust based on, like, violent crime alone. Members <sighs> okay. of an historically oppressed group. Being a victim. Yeah, of... but being a member of a historically oppressed group may, uh, make you subject to certain conditions, like poverty or living on the res or something that might make your life shit and may cause you to commit crime. Whatever that is defined is no excuse for hurting other people. Yeah, it's not an excuse for hurting other people, but we need to address are... issues. So we need to look at things like that to address issues to prevent people from hurting people in the future. That's what we need to do. That's social justice. That's all it is. The victims of those crimes. Shouldn't they and other law-abiding citizens be society's first consideration? So, sorry? Justice advocates say how, no. Wait, how, how are the victims of the crime made the first consideration when, like, the state comes in and says, Okay, well, here's how we're going to punish this other man. And, and how, how does the other person benefit from that? If a person is a victim of a crime in a place that's more socially just, if that's what we're going with, um, that person would also be compensated because he was personally injured. And, like, then all that would happen to the person who is, like, committing the crime is maybe they go to jail or they have some form of rehabilitative justice, which is actually far more likely to save like society as a whole because punitive justice just perpetuates more violence um i don't see how that's hard to see no they say we need social justice to even things out and that means favoring the have-nots over the haves holy the shit over the rich holy shit male over the male and the brown or black over the white the bible does not see the world this way okay holy shit this is really bad. I don't think you understand how fucking bad this is. Like, like Prager U is just comfortable looking at all of the things that might commit, you know, might cause people to commit more crime or all of the inequalities and say, yeah, well, uh, these things, like, people may be unequal and um, these things might, like, make our society shit, but, like, why do we have to address it? I fucking hate Prager U, dude. This is the worst. This is, and this is actually, I'm fucking molding right now, dude. It speaks against it in very explicit terms. Here's a law in the book of Exodus. Do not Separation of church and state. Vert justice by siding with the crowd. And do not show favoritism to a poor person in a lawsuit. 
But we show favoritism to rich people in a lawsuit. Do you think Joe Biden or Donald Just the Tip Trump are ever going to prison for, like, the rapes they committed? Hell no. We already show favoritism to the rich. So by reducing how much favoritism, in their eyes, showing favoritism to the poor, um, by showing favoritism to the to the poor, apparently, um, we'd really just be correcting the inequality that already exists to make justice blind so like the justice we have now isn't blind but they don't think that so if we try to correct it and make justice blind and good they call it social justice and bad and leftist nonsense or something here's one in Leviticus. it's really bad do not pervert justice do not show partiality this is really poor, bad this is i i just said this but look judge your I, I, I already addressed this moses the greatest lawgiver in history declares in deuteronomy moses the greatest lawgiver if if a man has looked at another woman in lust then he has already committed adultery and thereby like by the same law should be stoned to death so sorry the greatest lawgiver okay Follow justice and justice alone all right and the new testament declares in the book of romans god shows no partiality none of this means that there is no so why do so if you want the world to be just and based on like god's justice or something then why do we show partiality to the rich and why are you trying to keep it that way prager you Place for compassion in a system of justice? Of course there is. The Bible is preoccupied with the So why don't you show the compassion? Widow, the orphan and unfortunate. But compassion follows justice. It doesn't precede it. Holy also, fuck. Justice in and of itself is compassion. Notice notice how they've like cited no statistics. Like no statistics statistics saying like, well the the means that social justice warriors want to employ would make things bad and here are the statistics. Notice how it's all so far been in an emotional argument based on like the Bible. It's really fucking dumb. Passionate. First to the victims of oh crime my God. and to their loved ones. And second to the criminal. How can you become a better human being if you don't first recognize that you've done something wrong? You know, we That's we can it say is. we can say that people have done something wrong and have a system of rehabilitative justice having a, a system of rehabilitative justice has been shown to be more effective meanwhile okay i'm probably gonna have porn come up again never mind we're good um <laughs> um Many psychologists, psychologists in the criminal justice system have enormous caseloads of struggling not to be around by the time. Um, I was looking at something earlier, basically saying that rehabilitative justice is better, but this is the wrong look. Yeah, this is the wrong search. Oh, well. Anyway, there's quite a lot of evidence, and it supports rehabilitative justice, and I'll probably put it in the description down below. Um, but in general, it doesn't help anyone if or make anyone a better person if, like, someone commits a crime and then you just lock them up for fucking five years for a non-violent drug crime so that they grow bitter and waste the best years of their life in prison. Anytime we put an adjective before meanwhile, just... meanwhile, if we just, like, do our best to fix communities and make them less, you know, prone to having drugs in them and stuff like that in ways that don't just fucking cause black people to go to prison, um... I don't know. It seems like that might go a longer way to repair communities and then reduce crime in the future. Who's the actually the compassionate justice. one here? We no longer have justice. Economic justice, racial justice, environmental Holy justice, shit. any form of social Holy justice. Shit. Which seeks environmental justice. Imagine being like, um, yeah, we should probably like make the world uh healthier and like do our best to protect the environment and not like kill i don't know make animal species endangered and shit like that imagine like or oh the big one but they don't believe in this um fucking global warming so you know having environmental justice so that we'll have a fucking planet uh to live on um 
imagine like all of that hanging in the balance and being like, hmm, well, the libtards are putting environmental in front of justice, so I just really don't like this. I fucking hate Prager you, dude. Correct actual justice undermines justice. Hmm. So then, if social justice is not a biblical concept, why do Holy so fuck. many churches and synagogues promote it? Holy fuck. Because many Christians and Jews no longer regard biblical principles as binding. Because it's a lot I, easier to dispense compassion than hold people to a biblical standard. I don't even know what to and say to this. Because leftism has superseded the Bible in many houses of worship. <laughs> fuck, and bro, leftism, we did it. As a guiding principle, holds that the weak are good and the powerful are bad. Um now, it's, these are just, like, non-arguments, dude. Like, feels... I don't... Feels-based, like, talking points that just don't mean fucking anything. Christian values and leftist values. The former is rooted in justice. The latter mm. is not. Hmm. I'm Allie Beth Stuckey, host of Relatable on Blaze TV for Prager University. I fucking hate myself enough to watch this shit, dude. I, this is this is literally like spiritual cock and ball torture. Like this is this is not. It's just so in incredible to me, like how these people can just be so fucking wrong all the time. I don't I don't understand. So like, like, I I'm actually fucking speechless. I'll see you guys later. I love you.